Everyone likes a good deal. OnePlus is a brand known for offering value, and its latest affordable phone, the Nord N300 for T-Mobile, truly delivers. For $228, you get good performance, fast charging, and a screen with a high refresh rate, all wrapped up in an attractive design. The Nord N300 doesn't quite top the $279.99 Samsung Galaxy A312, our editor's choice for budget-friendly phones, which has tougher display glass, three usable cameras, Dell the software update commitment, and is available online. Good looks, the OnePlus Nord N300 is an attractive phone. It has a blocky shape, similar to an iPhone, with flat edges around the sides. The sharp edges make it somewhat more challenging to pick up when it's lying flat, but its shell is made entirely of a textured plastic material that doesn't attract fingerprints. The phone is only available in midnight jade, which is basically just black. It measures 6.5 by 3.0 by 0.3 inches, HWD and weighs 6.7 ounces. It's a little smaller and slightly lighter than the Galaxy A3 Toll, which measures 6.5 by 3.0 by 0.4 inches and 7.0 ounces. The screen is a 6.56 inch IPS LCD with 1612 by 720 pixel resolution that equates to a pixel density of 269B, which is a little low for such a large screen. It reaches a peak brightness of 480 nits and has a fast 90Hz refresh rate, both of which are above average for the price. Medium-sized bezels separate the screen from the frame, but they don't overpower the front of the phone. A small notch at the top houses the selfie camera, but it's about as small as you can get. On the bottom of the phone, you'll find a 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB-C port, and one of the speakers. Separate volume buttons in the combined Seymour microSD card slot are placed on the left side, and the power sleep button, which also serves as a fingerprint scanner, is tucked on the right edge. The fingerprint scanner worked flawlessly in testing. The phone also supports facial recognition via the front-facing camera. Though it isn't the secure kind of biometric scan like Apple's Face ID, it works well enough for unlocking the phone, though. Respectable performance, the Nord N300 doesn't rival high-end flagships like the OnePlus 10T or the Galaxy S22, but it holds its own compared with other affordable handsets. The phone comes with 4GB of RAM, which we consider to be a little low for modern Android phones, but is standard for the price range. It has 64GB of UFS 2.2 internal storage and supports expandable storage up to 1TB via microSD. The brain behind the operation is the Octa-Core MediaTek Dimensity 810 which features two ARM Cortex-C76 cores clocked at 2.40 GHz and six ARM Cortex-C55 cores clocked at 2.0 GHz. These CPU cores are joined by an ARM Mali G57 GPU for managing graphics. We tested the Dimensity 810 using Geekinch 5 and found that it achieved scores of 589 and 1747 on the single and multi-core tests. Respectively, it beat the Galaxy A312 on both tests, which has a Dimensity 720 processor, I just a bit at 501 and 1678. On the PC Mark Work 3.0 benchmark, designed to see how the phone handles various day-to-day -day tasks like video editing and writing, the Nord N300 scored an acceptable 8,159. For comparison, the TCL Stylus 5G, $258 scored 9,921 on the same test. The Moto G 5G, $399.99 scored 7,880 which puts the OnePlus Nord N300 in an acceptable range. Affordable 5G, gone are the days of 5G connectivity being limited to expensive phones. Now, even a $228 phone like the OnePlus Nord N300 offers solid 5G support. Critically, it includes band N77, a sliver of C-band spectrum that provides speedy wireless performance. As long as C-band signal is available where you live, you'll be able to take advantage of the speeds it offers. We ran speed tests on T-Mobile's network against the TCL Stylus 5G. We evaluated the phone in areas with excellent signal strength and in areas with poor signal strength. When a strong 5G signal was available, the N300 reached download speeds of 718 Mbps versus 699 Mbps for the Stylus 5G. In an area with barely any signal at all, the speed slowed to 3.25 Mbps for the N300 and 2.87 Mbps for the Stylus 5G. This shows us the N300 is just marginally better at capturing weak signals than the TCL Stylus. Decent pictures, it looks like the OnePlus Nord N300 has two cameras on the back 
but really there's only one. The upper of the two rear cameras has a 48 MP sensor at for 1.8. The lower camera is really just a 2 MP depth sensor at for 2.4. Its purpose is to assist the main camera with focus and book effects rather than to provide its own unique field of view like an ultra wide or telephoto zoom. The user facing selfie camera has a 16 MP sensor at for 2.0. Only one Android update. OnePlus is only offering one major Android system update for the Nord N300. The phone ships with Android 12 on day one, so at some point it will get Android 13 and that's it. Entry-level phones rarely get more than one or two major system upgrades, so we're not surprised. As far as security is concerned, OnePlus has committed to providing two years of updates, which seems to be the industry standard for low-cost phones. Samsung reigns supreme in this department. The Galaxy A3 Tour will receive two years of system upgrades and three years of monthly security security updates. Flagship phones typically receive 3 to 4 major system upgrades and 4 to 5 years of security updates. A good Galaxy competitor. Overall, OnePlus has done a commendable job designing an affordable smartphone that ticks most of the right boxes while keeping costs in line. The Nord N300's performance is as good as or better than what we expect from a phone at this price. And it includes modern must-haves like C-Band 5G support for an extra bit of mobile zip. If you're in the market for an affordable phone with decent cameras, a large screen, and respectable performance, the OnePlus Nord N300 is a great option to consider against the Samsung Galaxy A312. The A312 remains our editor's choice, however, due to its superior software update commitment from Samsung, more diverse array of cameras, and wider carrier availability. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.